Hey, hey everyone, this is Donald Ray coming to you again with another video talking about Nestle, which is the largest food manufacturer in the world in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, Switzerland. If you have kids, you may want to listen up. Nestle adds more sugar to baby food in poor countries. Nestle adds more sugar to baby food sold in lower and middle income countries, while more affluent markets get healthier versions. According to a recent report that we found released by a nonprofit group, the Swiss food giants' products in lower income countries contained up to 7.3 grams of added sugar per serving, while the same one food sold in Europe, where I grew up, often contained none, according to the finding, as well as an investigation by a public eye and the International Baby Food Action Network, IBFAN, or for short, we call it IBFAN based on data from the market analysis company, Euromonitor. The Swiss nonprofit group Public Eye denounced what it called Nestle's harmful double standard, which it said contributes to an increase in obesity and leads to children develop a lifelong preference for sugary products. The report compared the sugar content of Cyrillac instant cereal and Natto powdered milk these are two of Nestle's best-selling baby food brands in low- and middle-income countries, which these ranked in more than $2.5 billion in 2022. In Thailand, Ethiopia, South Africa, India, and Bangladesh, among others, Nestle added up to 6 grams of sugar per serving of Cyrillac. The same brand was sold containing zero sugar in Britain and Germany. Cyrillac had on average four grams of sugar per serving, or about one sugar cube, in countries in the global south. Cyrillac sold in the Philippines contained of the highest amount of added sugar with 7.3 grams per serving. In several countries, including the Philippines, Nigeria, Senegal, Vietnam, and Pakistan, added sugar content was not declared on the packaging. In a statement on Monday recently, Nestle said the variations in sugar content across countries really depended on several factors, including regulations and availability of local ingredients, which can result in offerings with lower or even no added sugars. The company added that this does not compromise the nutritional value of our products for infants and young children. In European countries, consumers pressure has driven Nestle to remove added sugar from their baby food products. Laurent Gabriel and Manuel Abib, researchers at Public Eye who were involved in this report, wrote in an email to the Washington Post and said, we regret that the company has nevertheless decided to continue adding sugar in lower income countries. The same trend was detected to a lesser degree in Nido products. An analysis of the brand showed that its products contained on an average of two grams of added sugar per serving with Nido Adams sold in Panama containing the highest at 5.3 grams per serving. Nestle itself advised to avoid any added sugar at that age. Hmm. Gabriel and Abib wrote, Nestle says that on its Brazilian website that it is ideal to avoid eating added sugars in childhood, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that children younger than two years old should not be fed foods and beverages with added sugars at all. The World Health Organization also advises parents and guardians not to add sugar to complement foods for children two years of younger. After the report's release, officials in India sought investigation into its main allegations. Bangladesh officials have also said they will look into the issue of added sugar in baby foods, according to its local reports. In the Philippines, a bill prohibiting additional sugar in baby food is pending in the Senate. A spokesman for the country's Department of Health voiced support for its passage on Friday. UNICEF, the UN Children's Agency, urges governments to regulate the nutritional value of such foods, said Roland Kupta, the Regional Nutrition Advisor for East Asia and the Pacific. In response to this report, the organization also called for the prohibition of added sugars and misleading marketing. The findings are disturbing, Albert Domingo, a senior Philippine Health Department official, told The Post. 
especially since the World Health Organization recommendation is apparently followed in other countries. Nestle said it has reduced added sugars in its infant cereals portfolio worldwide by 11% and is phasing out added sugars from its growing up milk, which is for children ages 12 to 36 months. The company also added that it is important to distinguish between added and total sugars in our products. <laughs> for example, total sugars could include the lactose naturally present in milk or be from ingredients such as fruit, puree, or honey. Okay. Gabriel and Abib of Public Eye said that added sugar leads babies to develop a preference for overly sweet foods, setting them up for a lifelong diet of highly processed foods. Hey, if you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please follow me for more content. Uh, if you like this video, I can talk more about what's going on in the world or even right here in the United States where I live. Until next time, stay blessed. I'll see you on the next video. Donald Ray Abbott, out.